is Neely on Nutrition. I'm talking to Charlotte Collins, my intern. We did a video about the difference between plant omega-3s and fish omega-3s. And uh, Charlotte, you said that you had a question from somebody. Yes, I had a friend that watched the video and she's a vegetarian. And she was getting all of her omega-3 sources from plant, from plant sources, such as the flax seed, the walnuts, and the chia seeds. And so she had some concern after watching the video, realizing that those plant-based sources were not the same as the omega-3s people would get from salmon and other fatty fish. So what are some vegetarian options out there to get those same benefits? That's a great question, I'm, and I'm glad that that was brought up. And actually, uh, plant omega-3s are the ALA, and the fish omega-3s are the EPA and DHA. And that's where we have all of the heart health and the brain health and the... Um, the uh, inflammation, health, and so forth uh, that's been shown to be so protective. The ALA form that's in plants is excellent. However, very little of it converts to the EPA and DHA. A little of it does, but, but not very much. So a vegetarian, if they could get it directly from the EPA and DHA, that would be ideal. Plants. Now, there is a plant source that hacks EPA and DHA, and that is a marine plant. The marine plant being algae. That's wow. actually where the fish get it from. Okay. So a vegetarian does have an option of getting their EPA and DHA from algae. So ideally, um, you want like a, a more concentrated source like algae oil and their um, or algae oil pills. And there's, um, I would make sure to buy from a reputable um, supplement manufacturer. And just because you want to make sure that you're getting um, a good quality um, product. And, um, and the thing, it's going to be more expensive. So, um, you know, where you're looking at fish oil, you might spend, you know, a couple of cents per 100 milligrams. Algae, you're going to be spending maybe 23 cents or so for 100 milligrams. So that's going to come out to maybe $2.30 a day to get that 1,000 milligrams. So it's going to be a little bit pricier, but the vegetarians do have an option to get their EPA and DHA directly. Okay, yeah. great. Thanks. I'll definitely relay this information back great. to her. Great. I think she'll be happy. Yep. Good. Thank you. Yes. Thanks for watching Neely on Nutrition, and we'll see you in the next video.